Tonight we are celebrating innovation, we are celebrating achievements and the extraordinary success of four incredible individuals. I want to put it in a bit of context. Amazon was just starting then, and you're looking at the man responsible in a minute from taking Amazon Japan to almost nothing to $12 billion in just 17 years. It is humbling, uh, overwhelming, but above all, a very proud moment for me personally to have been able to exemplify what the school and the fac faculty has taught me about business and about leadership. From inventing e-commerce to computing in the cloud to reinventing traditional commerce, these are examples of the thousands and thousands of things we do every day at Amazon, where no matter how much we have done, there's still so much more yet to be done. Jane truly is outstanding. This extends to her career achievements, her leadership, and her personal life, including her philanthropic activities and her focus on always giving back. It is an honor to be recognized by the school that was foundational in my life and in my career. Everyone had earned the right to be here, regardless of color, gender, place of origin, age, or status as part-time or full-time. It was at York that I came to understand that diversity on its own is not enough, that it needs to be nurtured in an environment of inclusion and equality to have a meaningful impact. As the chair of IROC, Marianne has brought to bear her extensive industry experience, her business acumen, and high ethical standards. All of our board members are active and engaged, but nobody epitomizes that spirit better than she does. We know we can count on her to be thorough, to be fair, to ask the right questions. So when I was working on Wall Street, I was astounded to find out that people thought Canada had a very strong financial and capital markets areas, but when it came to protecting our investors, we were considered the cowboys of the Wild West. So when I was invited to join the board of IROC, I saw an opportunity to apply decades of experience to making the regulation of one of this country's business pillars better and admired globally. We could not have asked for a better ambassador around the world than Dominic Martin. It has been just a great pleasure to work with Schulich on a number of different fronts, in particular uh, the Reimagining Capitalism book. And to me it's a, an example of kind of the global reach and, and significance that this school has in the world. So there you have it, four outstanding recipients who have taken four very different career paths. Despite their differences, they share one thing in common a desire to be among the very best in their chosen fields, and a desire to give back to the Schulich School and the community.